first, I want to thank you so much for sponsoring me at the 5K. I am sorry I was unable to talk to you because my device does not work outside in the sun. I truly appreciated you being there and meeting you. As most of you already know, my name is Casey Rohr, but you can call me Professor Rohr. <laughs> I am in 10th grade at Mirror Coastal High School in Manhattan Beach, and I am so honored to be here at your school. I think people have a lot to learn from one another, and I hope you leave here today with a little more knowledge about individuals with special needs. My focus today is to not only answer your questions at the end of the period, but to educate all of you about what it is like living with a disability, specifically, my disability, cerebral palsy. But I want you to be aware there are many disabilities, not just mine. Does anyone know what cerebral palsy is? Cerebral means your brain cerebrum. The cerebrum is the part of the brain that controls your motor movement. Can you clap your hands? Good. Your cerebrum is working. Now tap your toes. Good job. Your cerebrum is helping you move your toes. Now freeze. Don't move. Palsy describes the paralysis of movement in your body parts, meaning you can't move. All of you are able to control your body and its movements. A person, like me, with cerebral palsy, is not able to do that. Cerebral palsy is a disorder that affects a person's ability to move their own body, and for some of us, even speak. Thanks to this amazing computer device I have, I am able to speak. This amazing device is called Toby. Toby is an eye gaze reader that reads where my eyes are looking at the screen, so I am able to type out everything I want to say and speak. It is my communication superhero. I can surf the web, watch YouTube, FaceTime, text, type and store speeches, like this one, and even make phone calls using my Toby. But my favorite part is that I am able to send and receive email. Being able to use my voice to share my thoughts, wishes, and needs has changed my life. I can speak up for myself, present to all of you, and share all my humor with the world. Like, what kind of meat does Lady Gaga like?
I got my first Toby when I was in second grade. Before I got my Toby, it was so frustrating for me and my family. I couldn't express myself and my parents had to play 20 questions with me, asking yes, no questions for me to respond using only eye movements. I am so thankful for this technology and hope one day soon I will be able to use my device in the sunshine so I can have conversations outside like the ones I wanted to have with you the other weekend. It is not easy living with a disability. What is hard about living with cerebral palsy, you ask? Well, I always need assistance from an adult. I can't just go and hang out with my high school friends. I need someone to join me all the time. Also, I will never be able to hop on and ride a skateboard to the beach or join my friends in a night of playing video games. Not fun, right? But I always look at the bright side and still have a great time being with people. One of my favorite hangouts is going to the varsity football games. Go mirrored coaster Mustangs. When I was younger, I could not go and play at the local parks because I could not use the equipment. But thanks to my amazing mother, she worked hard to get a handicap accessible park built in Hermosa Beach. I was then able to play on the equipment because it was designed for people with disabilities. It is important for individuals with special needs to have strong and active advocates in their lives like my parents to fight for good causes like the park. Thanks to my Toby, I am also able to self-advocate now that I am older. Here are some important pointers I want to share to all of you going into the medical field. The first is, treat individuals with disabilities like any of your other patients. One time when I was at the doctor, he was just speaking over me. The doctor acted like I could not hear or would not understand, and he was wrong, way wrong. I heard and understood everything, but he did not talk to me, and I was his patient. This made me feel sad and a little bit angry. Class, please treat us just like anybody else. <laughs> the second pointer, share your email address on the first visit. People with disabilities like to be an active member in their medical visits and treatments. I find this very helpful to email my doctors questions and comments before each visit so I am prepared and have time to get my thoughts and concerns oh. out. This also helps you, the doctor, to be prepared for our visit and my needs. It is important to either respond or review the answer with me before the visit or during the visit. Our appointment may need to be a little bit longer, but this rapport will go a long way during our time together. It has been hard living with cerebral palsy, but there are a lot of reasons that make it okay too. I am able to teach people about patience, acceptance, and that disabilities don't make us who we are. You make you who you are. I am a big brother, a son, a friend, a 10th grader, a director, a producer, an actor, and a comedian, 
And now, thanks to you, a professor, I can wow any crowd with this amazing piece of equipment, my Toby. Now on to the important part, your questions. I did my best to answer oh, many yeah. of them. The second pointer, share your email address on the first visit.